From WFSP, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hello, everyone. I'm Stephanie Simone with a look at your top stories. Bus drivers in Coventry going on strike. They want more money, benefits, $32 an hour, and 80% of their health care covered. Police are planning extra patrols Tuesday near busy intersections. Police say, or parents rather say, they are rooting for the bus drivers, but there is now pressure to find a way to get kids to and from school. District officials say students who cannot get to school will be given an excused absence. Three people facing charges after police say a pedestrian was hit by a car after a fight in East Haven. It happened 9.30 Sunday night at Glen Haven Drive and Thornton Drive. Police say two groups who knew each other were fighting when 29-year-old Anthony Costco drove towards the pedestrian, seriously hurting him. Officers also arrested Aaron Lezege and Tyler Paulini. All three are expected to appear in court next week. Shelton police tell us a woman drowned in a pool over the weekend. It happened outside a home on Huntington Street. Police say the 68-year-old woman was visiting from out of the country when a family member returned to the house and found her unresponsive Sunday afternoon. First responders rushed her to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. On First Lord Futurecast, high pressure in control, keeping us dry, but also keeping us hot. The placement of this high pressure will help to keep the southwest wind going. Uh, we could see just a slight increase in clouds sometime uh, by Tuesday morning, but those should mix out pretty quickly. And then by Thursday, we'll be watching a front approach from the west, but high pressure is still expected to be the dominant weather feature locally, uh, keeping us dry, but also keeping us hot. Heat advisories have already been posted for parts of Connecticut for Tuesday and Wednesday. It's expected to feel like it's it's 95 to 100 degrees across parts of the state. And this, of course, comes on the heels of what is likely to be a very mild night, about 65 to 70 degrees as we begin the day Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon, record warmth will be possible with temperatures topping out in the 90s inland, upper 80s at the shoreline on Wednesday, hot and humid, uh, near 90 at the shore, mid 90s inland. Thursday, even hotter, still humid. But by Friday, we're giving you the first lords the potential for some showers and storms. Things become a bit unsettled through the weekend and stay that way into the start of next week.